Sagittarius, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna just pull some cards and get a message out for y'all. I definitely do hope the messages resonate for you guys and I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful for you, okay Sagittarius? And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into y'all reading, okay? Right off the bat, you got the Eight of Swords coming out along with the King of Swords. Messages for Sagittarius. You got the Two of Pentacles coming out as well for y'all. You also have the tower, heavy Aquarius energy, Sagittarius. You got the strength, you got a few coming out. You got the strength, the three of cups, the king of cups, the knight of cups with the will of fortune. So Sagittarius, if you are a woman watching, right? I definitely do feel like, cause it's two kings. I mean, you could be dealing with two individuals as well, an air sign and a water sign. And if not that, somebody definitely feels like you're standing on big business, like you're in um, your masculine sort of like energy, especially if you're just handling your own, you're holding your own weight. You're not really relying on anybody to kind of get things done for you. Um, you definitely are coming out as um, a masculine. And I don't know if you're stuck on a certain person or a certain situation or vice versa, someone is stuck on you or a certain situation. You got Leo energy out here. Again, heavy Aquarius. What's this tower? Y'all got a lot coming out this morning. <laughs> I'm not going to take all these. What's this tower? That's just for Sagittarius. You got the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands, excuse me. You could definitely be working on something new right now and trying to get something off the ground. You could even be looking for a new job as well with the King of Pentacles at the bottom. And someone is like, for some reason, shocked that you're doing this. Someone's like shocked that you're trying to make a way for yourself, pave a way for yourself. What's this Two of Pentacles? Messages for Sagittarius with the devil. I don't know. Someone thought you were going to always be like stuck on some sort of like codependent type of like energy. Like someone thought that you were going to have to rely on them or a certain job or a certain like living situation. Mm. What's the Two of Pentacles with the Devil? You got Capricorn energy out here too. With the Queen of Wands. Yeah, energy, Sagittarius. What's this King of Cups? You could definitely be dealing with two people. You could be dating right now, Sagittarius. Shout outs to you with the Eight of Wands. And you could definitely be getting ready to hear from someone. What's this uh, King of Cups with the Eight of Wands? What's the King of Cups with the Eight of Wands? Yeah, with the Empress. And what's this Empress? You got Taurus Libra energy out here. You got the Seven of Swords, the Fool with the Six of Cups. Yeah, I don't know if someone used to try to like encourage you to do different things. This is the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you got the world with the nine of swords. I don't know if like you're, someone's like afraid of you finding better and like leaving them. Like someone almost is like, you could definitely be a mom and this could definitely be like a baby's father. Switch the rules, you get what I'm saying? You could be the father and this could be a baby's mom, but it's almost like if you relied on someone heavily, it's, and this is no judgment, like you gotta do what you gotta do, but it's like a living situation or you worked for someone or someone helped you get a job. It's almost like someone is seeing you get back on your on your good foot. <laughs> someone is seeing you get back out there, basically meaning like you could be getting back into school, applying for like new jobs as well. It's almost like you're trying to see how you can build your own finances, but you do have someone who is a little nervous or skeptical rather about you doing this because it's almost like this person feels like, okay, if you do that, will you not rely on me anymore? Because this could be someone who deems y'all to be kind of like on the same level, like an even playing field, but it's almost like someone is seeing you want to do more or better for yourself and they're a little hesitant about you doing it. I don't, I wouldn't say this person doesn't want you to do it. They're just a little nervous that you will feel like, again, like you're going to feel better than them or like you have more money than them or more access to more money. Hours as well. It's almost like this person, especially if there's a past with you and someone else with like cheating or stepping out on one another. I mean, that's the same thing, but someone's nervous about you kind of like climbing up like a, a social ladder. 
changing your appearance as well. You know, you got kind of like more money, more problems type of like thing. What's this Knight of Cups? Like you're going to be attracting more people the more you elevate. And someone's worried about that with the Queen of Swords coming out. Yeah, someone thinks you're like strategically doing something. <laughs> and you could definitely be back in school. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. What's this King of Swords with the Six of Wands? And what's the King of Swords with the Six of Wands? With the Page of Pentacles. With the Six of Swords. Six, six could be a thing. Cards are stuck together, child. <laughs> With the Three of Pentacles as well. I gotta use my cards more often. What's the Six of Swords with the Three of Pentacles? You got the Emperor. This is somebody really, really terrified of you like getting a third party. And if not even a third party, this is someone who is a little reluctant about you standing like in your power. Like this is somebody who could have mm, asked you, like this is somebody who with the Seven of Cups at the bottom doesn't mind that you would rely on them or doesn't mind that you did at one point in time but it's also like at the same time this person could have talked smack about it too like i don't know it's very very weird um but it's almost like the more you are trying to do better for yourself it's almost like somebody feels like you won't be stuck on them anymore like you're going to have way more options than what this person could have provided for you at one point in time as well Especially with the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. It's like this person feels like you're trying to do better for yourself because you don't like what they're trying to offer you. Or this could even be a job, pay as well. It has something to do with money, finances, stability. What's the Three of Pentacles? With the Ten of Swords. You got Aries energy out here. What's this Eight of Swords? And it stays on someone's mind with the Page of Cups. And it's almost like this person is fake, fake nice about it, especially mm -hmm, with the Five of Pentacles. It's like somebody doesn't want you to, like someone's almost like being like fake supportive almost in a way. Like they're happy for you to your face, but like deep down inside this person hopes that something doesn't work out for you with the Five of Pentacles or you burn out, you, you get tired of doing it or learning it. What's the strength? With the Nine of Pentacles coming out, and you got the Eight of Cups, Sagittarius. Somebody is afraid of you walking away with the Four of Cups. And again, this could definitely be some sort of like job as well, especially if someone helps you get a job. But it's almost like this person is, again, skeptical about you moving forward, whether it's with finances, again, whether it's with like schooling. It's something that you want to do. It's not even necessarily pertaining to more towards like love. <laughs> But this is someone who is afraid about you getting out of their grasp. Because they want you to put up with something, not even necessarily put up with something, it's some way of like living. Like there's somebody who definitely wants you to be, because the energy isn't like a, oh, I want you to be codependent. I want you to, it is more of like a rely on me type of like thing. This person, especially if this is a masculine or a man, right? Take it however it resonates. Um, because it definitely could be like same sex, but this is somebody who wants to feel like, yeah, this person has like a hyper masculinity. Like their feminine energy is very like distorted. Like this person gets very, very uncomfortable. This person could even be homophobic and not even homophobic, but this is somebody who, mm -hmm. They're not in touch with like a feminine side of theirs or it makes them feel uncomfortable. There's something about a feminine side that makes somebody feel uncomfortable. Like this is somebody who feels like the feminine should rely on the masculine for pretty much everything. 
but on the outside, this person pretends to be like support. Like this is somebody, this is somebody who cannot stand for a woman to be like higher than them, make more money than them as well. Like this is somebody who feels like you will um, emasculate them, especially to like outside people, their friends, your friends, your family. What's the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles? Like someone wants you to leave this independent energy alone with the Ten of Pentacles. Damn. What's the Three of Cups? Like someone's really, really afraid of you dropping them. Very, very afraid of you dropping them. Especially like if you come up financially with the Three of Wands. 33 could be a thing as well. Like and it's almost like this person is Almost like waiting for this day. What's this three of cups with the three of wands? With the ten of wands coming out as well, with the nine of wands. And I would honestly be nervous about people from your past with the judgment, especially people you left at one point in time when you weren't in this nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles type of like energy as well, especially if you already are in it or you're building yourself up to be in that energy because I definitely do feel like if it's not somebody you're actively with right now or talking to or whatever the case may be, again, it could definitely be a baby's mom, baby father um, who is seeing this as well, especially if y'all are in separation, but really people from your past, I feel like because you have, I feel like someone in specific, if not two individuals, you get what I'm saying, Sadie Terry? I don't know, someone's very busy <laughs> out here in the streets, you know what I'm saying, but get it. Um, Someone's waiting for you to be in this nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles energy as well. So they can kind of like dump on you, like all their issues, what they need as well. Like someone definitely could want to return once they see like you come up again financially. Mm -hmm. Someone really wants to like use you. Like they're watching you. Especially if you are in communication, I don't know, in communication with someone and you're telling them, you know, oh, I'm doing this or I'm trying to get this off the ground. I'm going back to school to do this, this, that, and the third. Someone's waiting for the cash flow to come in or shit, this could even be taxes. So I would be very, because it's something about finances. With the judgment, it's almost like you already know this person. You know this person's character. You know how this person is already. Like this isn't nothing new to you. What's this King of Cups, Queen of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles? With the King of Wands. Again, flip it how it how it is. You could definitely be a man watching this as well. Or you could even be cross watching for the Sagittarius. What's this King of Wands? With the Four of Wands, yes. Someone's like waiting to come into the Knight of Cups isn't in reverse, but it, it could be. What's this Knight of Cups? Because I was going to say, like, love bomb you. Like, someone's going to try to put it on a thick when they see you reach a certain, like... Yeah, with the Five of Wands. I almost want to say, like, reach a certain level as well, whether that's in, like, career with the Four of Pentacles. What's the uh, Knight of Cups with the Five of Wands? With the Moon coming out in reverse. Like, you know who this person is. You're not with the Ace of Cups, because it's almost like someone wants to like hypnotize you. Someone wants to almost like, especially if you already know how a certain person is, how they act. Someone can even be like a scammer. Like someone has a love for money that really drives them. Um, and that's not a bad thing, but this is somebody who goes out their way to make money in, in a lot of different ways and not just go on like to a nine to five. <laughs> um, they, could, they could cheat, they could like steal, scam as well. Um, like get with people who have money as well just to like obtain get like someone could definitely sleep for like things as well gifts money however have you and there's no judgment over here it's the real world get it how you live child get it how you live <laughs> um, but whoever this individual is you're 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 not caught all you're not thrown off by this person basically is what I'm trying to say like there's no illusion you know you possibly don't even like really see yourself with this person per se it's something about like daydreaming, like someone wants to basically 
puts you in a mindset to where it's like you're fantasizing about them again like you're, you're you're fantasizing about a future again like this is someone who wants to come back when they feel like you're very 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 stable to where it's like because this is not this other energy that's why i feel like it's two different energies i feel like especially if you are a parent like if you're a parent you have a, a mother a father that you know you co-parent with or you're in separation with who's afraid of you elevating to where it's like there's never going to like they're going to be forced to elevate if they want to get back to you but you also do have someone i feel like of the past who wants to come back once you're like financially like really really stable so you can like take care of them and provide for them and give them things basically and it's almost like especially again with the moon in reverse and this five of wands it's almost like you're hip to this person. You know exactly if this person wants to come to you, oh, starts to like, I want to apologize. I love you. I like you. I'm sorry I did this and this, that, and the third. It's almost like this person wants you to put back those, ro those rose colored glasses and ignored any and everything, especially if they discarded you, chose somebody over you, really degraded you because that's kind of what that feels like. You're not going to go for it. You're not. With the moon in reverse, you got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's the five of wands with the moon in reverse? With the Knight of Swords, this person is definitely going to take action on you. Whoever this other energy is. This person who wants to reconnect with the Ace of Pentacles. Especially if you start getting like in a better place and people start to see this. You're going to have a lot of people want to come back out the woodwork, Sagittarius. A lot of people. Because it's something about you dressing different, acting different. Like you look very, very different. Your energy is like transforming. It's shifting. What's this world with the Nine of Swords? And that's how I feel like these people are going to be. With the world and the nine of swords, the law. <laughs> with the world and the nine of swords, because it's almost like a thing where these people could have like passed you up at one point in time because they could have felt like you didn't have enough or you weren't enough either. What's this world with the nine of swords? With the magician. You definitely have people trying to manifest you. And they're watching your manifestations take off for you. Like these are people who really feel like they should have tethered themselves to you with the seven of wands, the queen of cups, the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles with the judgment. These are people you once really, really did care about, if not love. With the High Priestess coming out, and there's one more on the table. With the High Priestess coming out as well. With the Chariot. Your intuition is going to tell you to move on from a certain person. Again, it could be a, a Cancer of Pisces. Heavy Cancer of Pisces. With the High Priestess, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups out here. A Libra with the Judgment. And then the world that is Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and uh, Leo energy. With the Nine of Cups. And it will be beneficial for you to do that as well, okay? Let's get some more. Make the reading a little longer. Messages for Sagittarius. Gotta get some closing messages for Sagittarius. You got the Ace of Swords coming out here. You also have the Justice with the Hierophant. I don't know. Someone could even be like studying law, wants to study law with the Ace of Cups. Someone can even be going through like a custody battle, a court custody battle as well. What's this justice with the King of Pentacles? Could definitely be a Taurus with the death. Or a Scorpio. What's this King of Pentacles with the death? You're going to be like on top of your game and people are really going to see it. It's something you're manifesting with the Five of Swords. And you're going to have a lot of envious eyes around you with the star because you're going to be shining bright, bright. And it doesn't even have to be anything online with the sun. It's something that you're going to do that's going to be making you very happy, very, very happy. Some sort of lifestyle as well that you're going to be able to afford for yourself. Like you're about to undergo some sort of major transformation, Sagittarius, if you haven't already. Again, heavy Aquarius energy, Taurus, Scorpio, okay? Libra. But all right, Sagittarius, that was your read. And I definitely do hope the messages resonate for you guys. And I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful. And with that being said, bye.